What up, y'all? Odeed here again, using my uh, Microsoft Live Cam, so the quality's not going to be as good. The battery died on my uh, my other camera, my power shot. This video is for uh, B Trippin. He was kind of talking to me and asking me questions about dubstep. How to make dubstep? I, I listened to that beat you made. It's a dope ass beat. Um, it, that kind of sounded a little bit maybe more like hip hop to me, or like a trip hop beat. It sounded like maybe it was a. Uh, I don't know, like maybe 80 BPM, 90 BPM. Um, from my understanding, uh, um, this is just my interpretation on, on dubstep, it usually hovers around 140 BPM. You know, it can be a little lower, a little higher. Um, and usually the drums, but not always, but usually the drums are like a half step kind of drum. So like here's a basic, that's 140 BPMs. And then when you, uh, like when you make a break beat, you'll have the snare on the two and the four. So it's like one, two, three, four, one. So like a break beat would be like, like that kind of thing. Oh yeah, I'm recording shit. Okay. Um, whereas a dubstep beat, you're going to, you know, a lot of times it's a half step. So instead of the snare being on the two and the four, it's on the, it's on the third uh, beat. So it'll sound more like this. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's almost like the drums are at 70 BPM. So you can like, it kind of has that kind of feel to it. Um, but then I'll add like different hi-hats and shit. So it has a more, uh, so it sounds more like it's a hundred and uh, 140, like those hats there. They're kind of like a more faster, faster paced uh, hi-hat. So the kick and the snare kind of are at 70, and then, you know, you can have your, your other percussion kind of make it sound like it's at 140. I put this uh, open hi-hat in there. It gives it kind of like that up-tempo, kind of almost like house feel to it. some back like the percussion in the back um, and that's pretty much it for percussion and then of course in this one it, it has that wobbly kind of like a uh, drum and bass new school break uh, you know speed garage kind of wobbly bass line but not all dubstep has that so that, that's kind of you know it's funny to me people say oh that's not dubstep or this isn't dubstep Dubstep, to me anyways, is anything at at around 140 BPM um, that either has like that half step beat or, uh, I don't know, you know, it's just, I guess you just, to the, I'm to the point now where I can just recognize all that dubstep or not dubstep. Um, usually if it has the snare, if it, usually if it's around 140 and it has the snare on the second and fourth beat, it's usually not dubstep, it's usually break beat. Um, but I mean, nowadays, shit, you know, genre lines have crossed so much that it, it's even hard to say. But if you want to uh, make a dubstep beat, I, I would start with around 140 BPMs and then do like the, the half, you know, halftime uh, kick and snare. If this is making any fucking sense at all. So here's those uh, little string thing I did. Okay, and then all together. I mean, you've heard it, but... So I'll show it to you with just the drums. But that main... Like that big, heavy kind of like clap and uh, snare put together, that, to me, kind of like... It makes it like dubby, like a dubstep kind of beat. Then again, like I said, somebody will somebody will come on here after I put this video up and say, oh, that's not dubstep or, you know, whatever. Um, I was going to show you just some other songs like classic dubstep, not classic dubstep songs, but just dubstep songs that don't have, you know, don't have that wobbly kind of sound to them. I mean, I mean, there's all kinds of, you know, 
different shit. Um, this one's pretty dope. Special Friends Ass Jiggle. And it's kind of like a dubstep track. See, and there's no wobbly, like, LFO bass line, but it still has that snare on that, on the third. Three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's like another, you know, sound of dubstep. Um, I'll show you some of young stuff right here. He has kind of a different sound, too, which I really like. Where's, uh... Oops. I raced everything. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this is Young's newest one. Or the newest one I have, I think. It's called Breathe. Oh, yeah, it's not going to play in there. i got to open up uh, Adobe Audition. Oh, shit, I'm already at four minutes. That's six seconds. Come on, Adobe. You can do it. And this one even has a close to like a breakbeat kind of. Like it's almost got that breakbeat, but. So it's like one, two, three, four. But he had that the, that second snare kind of like, it's on, almost like the upbeat, so it's not on the fourth. But it's, I mean, it's all around 140. Describing dubstep is hard, but that's kind of why I like it because it it's got so many different fucking sounds and styles to it. But again, the main thing is keep it around 140. So that's like another sound of dubstep. It's a dope track. Uh, let me see what else I got here my boy the Whittler he makes uh, some stuff that sounds a little more like the other stuff and then some stuff that doesn't too um, here's one of his new ones he just did this fucking... this is the guy who's on our label see and it has that three four one two three four And it has more of that kind of like wobbly bass line, kind of half step beat. Um, but then he does. Uh, let's see, where am I on time? Shit, I'm getting close already. Lady Dub, here we go, Lady Dub VIP. And it still has that half step beat, but you know, it's almost got almost like a trancey, uh, like deep house feel to it, so. So what is dubstep? I don't fucking know, man. You know? <laughs> it could be a lot of things. And again, that's why I like it, man. It's it's a diverse sound. So, again, I know I've said this a bunch of times, but uh, 140 BPMs uh, with the drums at a half step, like 70 BPMs, uh, the kick and the snare, and then just kind of go from there, man. That That's what I would do. So, anyways, if you got any more questions, man, hit me up. Peace.